I'll get into it. So, hi, I'm Debbie Ryan, Rob McBride, and we've also got Fung Nguyen here, and Fung is nom our nominated Imagine candidate. Um, I'll present the scheme, and Rob and Fung can answer any questions after. Um, it has been both our joy and privilege to work across the PEG Senior Campus for more than 10 years. The site plan shows the new and refurbished, refurbished projects we have undertaken across the campus. Over that 10 years plus, the school leaders and we have all created a complex campus with a variety of learning spaces, a diversity of buildings with careful, careful consideration between these buildings. It is an ongoing project, but what we want to create is a really interesting mini city, not an ideal city, but one with complexity and evolution, a place to heighten and enhance the student learning and experience. In the design of the various precincts across the PEGS campus, the learning environments have been carefully tailored and themed to respond to the unique learning environments and year level characteristics of the students. The Gymnasium and Performance Centre, it is the latest piece of the campus puzzle. It is a building that doesn't belong to one learning group, but is to be shared by the whole of the school community. It is also the most intense interface of the school with other schools, external parties and visitors. The gym site is located centrally on the west boundary between the school's two ovals. This location has shifted the gravity of the campus, giving emphasis to the east entry of the campus. The footprint of the new building is wedged by the oval, the street, the car park and the existing gymnasium to the east. This early diagram mapped out key principles of the building siting, that is to connect seamlessly with the old gym's courts, to create visibility through the building and to provide the main entry on the upper east side of the site so as to negotiate the site falls. The connection to the existing gym also allowed movable seating so as to provide for a full school performance. The building's program is of course dominated by the large volume of the performance and sports aspects. However, significant additional programs have been squeezed within the site constraints. There is quite a variety of spaces and uses within the facility. Sporting, performance, learning, and just plain hanging around. It could perhaps be thought to be described thus. A symbolic place of high drama, a site of learning, playing, watching and contesting. We wanted the key central space to be light, filled and architecturally mem memorable. This is the campus's symbolic town hall, a place to gather, to come together, to enjoy, to battle, to dialogue. The plan is tightly wedged between the site boundaries with ancillary functions nestled along the west boundary. These include various amenities, storerooms and a fitness room on the ground level and on the first level, learning spaces, table tennis and a function room with balcony overlooking the main school oval to the north. This condition and the program in part resulted in a complex series of facade interfaces, a complex urban object both inside and out. On the north facade bounding the oval, the oculus of the northern arches is cut through the precast concrete to enliven the curved arched veranda. On the southern side, the internal upper tiered seating created the opportunity to emphasise the civic nature of the building. This provided the building with the grand civic facade with pedestrian colonnade, but it was equally important to the drama and functioning of the interior space. Now we get into it. From the south, the openings provide a frame, frame views into the great space, one of the key early tenants of the project shown in the early diagram. They provide views out to the ovals. Importantly, they provide permeability and functionally they act as escape routes in the event of fire during a large school gathering. Within the key space, each of the four internal facades, as with the exterior, presents a different expression, all held together by ceiling vaulting. The arched openings in conjunction with the operable skylights within the vaulting provide emergency smoke venting in the event of a fire. In general, they improve cross ventilation and provide the opportunity for early morning purging to the gym when needed. The catenary arches of the north gracefully reflect the flight of the ball. Stained plywood is used for robustness and its texture. The upper circulation spaces provide dramatic views into the main performance space. The darker colours contrasting with the light filled space. On the upper levels, the bolts have been theatrically sculpted around the upper tiered seating. 
The generous stairs throughout provide sites for viewing, meeting, and general enjoyment of the space. The dark blue of the plywood, plywood a dramatic interior silhouette that highlights the building's assemblage. Spotted gum battens on the south wall provided warmth and acoustic attenuation. The design also threw up new opportunities for student engagement and instruction. This space hangs over the main entrance to the building. Natural light and the ability to see out and frame views were very important in the project on both of the floor levels. Flexibility was important in the design. Here the table tennis room has expanded into the function room to facilitate COVID social distancing. It would be remiss not to say something about construction. While it all looks straightforward when complete, it is in an incredibly complex integration of structure, services, prefabricated elements and facade systems and interior material linings. It is a credit to Fung to have worked through all of this. 